coming and welcome in. Trucker Rudy here this morning. <coughs> Pardon me. Just leaving the truck stop. Finally got told to uh, just head over to Hazleton, Pennsylvania. And uh, just gonna go drop my trailer up there. And then I am supposed to uh, bobtail over to Mississauga, Ontario. So that's gonna be good for me. Lots of empty miles, still get paid for them. Get good fuel mileage, making money. That's what it's all about, right? So we'll get, uh, we'll gain some fuel mileage back that I lost coming down here because I had a really heavy load. So uh, we'll make some money back. That's always good. So anyways, uh, we'll get going here and uh, we'll see what the day will bring us. Hopefully they'll have something ready for me then in Toronto. Like in Mississauga. In I call it Toronto most take of the, the time. To the left on I-81 North. Take the entrance to the left on I-81 North. Because it is technically in the uh, Toronto area. But uh, that way... Turn most left onto I-81 North. Most of you folks would know where better where it is, you know. But anyways, we'll get uh, get the show rolling and we'll uh, we'll see you guys down the road. Hopefully, you will join me on my journey today. Alrighty, just finished dropping my trailer up there in Hazleton at the customer, and I'm bobtailing to Mississauga right now or to Toronto area. They already sent me a reload offer, which is good. I got a reload out of Toronto there tonight and then go back to Steinbeck to my hometown so uh, I'll be back probably Friday night so that'll be good I'll uh, finally be home for the weekend for a change so I'll, I, I like that that's uh, been a long time coming I think last month I didn't have any weekends off so it's about time I take a weekend off you know alrighty I got a uh person on YouTube uh, left me a comment on my uh, video asking if I could uh, make a video about uh, what kind of cell phones I would use and what kind of plans there is available for truckers and stuff like that so I figured I would address that question since that's a very important question for us truckers especially for us Canadian truckers that have to travel through Canada and, it, and the United States a lot. It's very important for us to find out uh, what are we dealing with, you know? And uh, one of the things that I look at is uh, obviously pricing and then the options that I get. And I think Verizon is one of the best uh, carriers to go with. And I'll give you a little bit of an example. They, uh, they used to have good plans. They no longer have good plans for us truckers anymore, for Canadian truckers anyways, that's it. Uh, them and Rogers are very similar in pricing. I know MTS has a, has a plan too for the United States, but I'm not a very big fan of MTS, just to be honest, that's just my opinion. Uh, it doesn't have to do with anybody else. I just had bad experiences with them and I've heard bad experiences from other people that uh, MTS will uh, still charge your roaming fee even though you have American plan. But uh, anyways, I'm not here to, to bash them or bash any other company. Uh, I'm just here to talk about what I've heard and from my experiences and stuff like that and my opinion so uh anyways uh rogers has a has an okay plan too rogers uh, you can get a trucker plan uh for 120 dollars a month and that will give you uh, 1000 minutes in the united states it will still give you your unlimited calling in canada uh, but it will only give you one gigabyte of data which i think is a little bit low at least it is for me and uh, they will give you unlimited texting in Canada, but you only get 1,000 texting text messages in the United States, which I don't really need any of this. I, I don't text that much. And if you really want to text, as long as you have internet, you can use 
use different uh, different apps to use uh, use that for texting. Like there's WhatsApp or I uh, use Voxer a lot of a lot of times. It's a walkie-talkie program and that works great. That way you can talk to one or the other uh, person, you know. And what I would recommend if you want to call, you could uh, use either Skype through the internet or and you can use that on, on the cell phone, you know, so with the smartphone and uh, or you, you would, I would recommend for you to get the uh, Apple device, like an iPhone or something like that and then you can use uh, uh, iMessaging, as long as you have internet you can use iMessaging to call uh, that's always a good way to go, but then you have to keep in mind that you need more internet, so and then there's Verizon uh, Verizon uh, has, has about the similar plan that, uh, that Rogers has. You get 1,000 minutes uh, with the new plan that they have for uh, if you're in Canada, and but you get absolutely no data if you if you uh, come into Canada. You can get data from them, but it's crazy expensive. You don't even want to go there. So, but at least with Verizon, if you get that plan. You can still get a couple of get a, a gigabyte of data and you can always get more but you can go get more with rogers too i'm just giving you an example on the basic package uh, that you'll get with rogers and verizon and uh, it's if with verizon if you are in the united states you get unlimited calling in the united states any phone home phone cell phone no matter what it's unlimited in the united states but you have to be in the united states you cannot be under an extended network or like for instance in Canada it's going to be an extended network and it also uh, starts around $140-$150 which Rogers will be too if you add a couple of giga gigabyte of data where with Verizon you already get I think two or three gigabytes of data with that plan so uh, they're very similar on pricing Rogers and Verizon but uh, I believe uh, if you go uh, in a lot of areas, Verizon has better cell phone, cell phone power service. You'll get better signal with uh, Verizon's uh, phone than you will get with Rogers or any other company for a matter of fact. So, uh, so that just puts to rest some of those plans. And uh, for Wi-Fi, uh, Verizon uh, has uh, wireless cards that you can get obviously it costs you money too and the same thing with Rogers they have a wireless uh, package too that you can get so depending on uh, if you run a lot in Canada or a lot in the United States so both of the options are great uh, either well I guess it always get better right but uh, from what they have available currently uh, those are the best packages that I can Take off and that I've heard. So uh, for me, I have uh, I have an iPhone 5s and uh, I have my phone jailbroken. In other hands, in other words, for those of you don't, that don't understand what that means, it means that I have my phone hacked, and that gives me the ability to uh, to tweak settings and do things that you can't do with a normal iPhone and which that allows me to download uh, a, a tweet that allows me to uh, use my iPhone as a Wi-Fi device without having to pay for it and since I am still on the old plan with Verizon I have unlimited data so I can use as much data as I want but that is only in the United States but you can no longer get that plan with Verizon they cut that down and I've also read on the internet on come October 1st, which it is today, uh, Verizon is going to throttle your internet usage. So if you use more than 5 gigabyte of internet, you're going to get limited in the big cities or in big traffic areas. So we'll see how that goes. They say they want to try and keep it at the minimum, but we'll see how that goes. They really want you to upgrade, I guess, to a new phone which I won't do because I want to keep my uh, unlimited data I use that a lot to upload these uh, YouTube videos you know but otherwise I couldn't I couldn't have these every week you know so uh, but anyways those are just some of the ideas that I would uh, go with and oh yeah another
other thing is if you want to go with a Verizon phone it is getting harder and harder for us Canadians to set it up because they want a US address so what I would recommend for you if you want to uh, get a Verizon cell phone look up on the internet a uh, US address and uh, pick that and try that uh, because uh, that's the only way you're going to get a uh, US cell phone. You can't use a PO box, you have to use a physical address in order to get a cell phone service there. So, But anyways, uh, Grand Forks is usually a, a good place where a lot of people get their uh, get their cell phones hooked up at uh, in Grand Forks there from the Flying J. It's just on the other side of the Flying J, on the other side of the interstate. That's where the Verizon dealer is. And they got a guy right in there that specializes in that, that uh, gets the Canadian customers hooked up. And so if you're looking to do that, then go there. And if not, then uh, go with Rogers or MTS, whatever you desire. But those are just my opinions and uh, from what I've heard. So anyways, uh, that should do it for that matter. And we are getting closer to the border. Looks like I got another 23 miles to Buffalo, looks like. And we'll be crossing the border here shortly, I think. So, uh, we'll be in Ontario pretty soon. Just take a look at this big lineup over here that's going into the United States. And now I am going into Canada. Hopefully that won't be such a big lineup over there. As you can probably see, I will be coming over the bridge here right away. Always bridges, bridges and bridges over into Ontario, I guess. Almost any direction you come into Ontario, you gotta cross a bridge. Have a look at this. Nice uh, river up here. Uh, holy moly, way over the bridge is the drop line up for going into uh, the United States. Oh boy, oh, I don't know. In one half mile, keep to the right on Lake Erie Circle Tour. How things are going to look on the other side for me, it looks like it's not too shabby. Looks like it's not bad, but we'll have to find out once we get closer, I guess. But I hope the sun is not blinding my camera too much. So I can get it on film and properly. And not just the sun on the camera, you know. Anyways. Making it across the border. border. Entering we Ontario. We are officially in Ontario. Alright, that's good. Got another hour and three quarters to uh, driving time to make it up to Toronto and then in we'll pick up our meters, road tonight. Keep to the right on Lake Erie Circle Tour and then slide right in 1.1 kilometers. Right here to the right is where we have our. Uh, our uh, keep to the right on. Lake Erie Circle Tour. Well guys, I have made it to Mississauga. I will probably go pick up my load later on tonight and uh, probably try and get out of Toronto if I can so that way I don't have the traffic tomorrow morning. But anyways, I have had something really interesting happening at the scale tonight and I will tell you guys all about it tomorrow in the video. Isn't that a little bit sad? Yeah it is, but I'm excited to tell you. But I gotta give it some more thought and what I want to say and everything so I'll give it to you guys tomorrow so I hope you guys will stay tuned for it eh? see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. bye bye <laughs>